Hi everyone. I started this project by painting four tumbling blocks that I got from the Dollar Tree along with this bunny cutout. I got this gorgeous deep purple colored ribbon from Walmart. This plaid material was an old shirt my mother-in-law had. And last but not least, an old time favorite, Mod Podge. I smoothed the shirt out, placed the bunny on it, realized I didn't take off the hanger, then traced it onto the fabric using a regular pen. I then cut a smaller piece of the shirt so it was easier to cut the tracing. I then painted the whole back of the bunny using Waverly chalk paint in the color white. Once that was dry, I flipped it over and only painted the edges of the other side. Once the paint was dry, I moved on to Mod Podge and covered the entire bunny in a thick layer so that way the fabric would adhere better. After smoothing out any bubbles or creases, I moved on to covering the entire bunny with Mod Podge. I lifted any edge of the fabric where it seemed that the adhesive had started to dry. Once the fabric was dry, I used scissors along with an X-Acto knife to trim any excess fabric that was over the edge of the bunny. Be careful when doing this so you don't cut yourself. I then moved on to making two purple bows for the ears. Realizing that they didn't stand off the fabric very well, I found some leftover pale pink ribbon that I decided to use along with the purple bows.
after marking off where I wanted the tumbler blocks to go, I used E6000 glue along with hot glue and placed them on the bottom of the bunny. I ended up adding two more tumbling blocks to give more support for the bunnies to stand up. Once the glue was set, it's time to put on the finishing touches. I glued on the bows using regular hot glue and a pom-pom that I got from Hobby Lobby that came in a large pack. I had a lot of fun making this bunny, and I thank my mother-in-law for coming up with the idea of using a shirt, especially hers. Love you, Ma. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.